Hey friends, welcome back to another Monday morning watercolor tips video. My name is Emma LaFave and today I'm going to teach you all about blending techniques. So let's jump right in and get started. Okay, so for today's tips video, we are going to be talking about blending and the blending technique. Now, when I refer to blending in my videos, I'm usually meaning that I am trying to make a line that is harsh. So I'll just show you quickly. I'm just going to grab whatever color I have here a harsh line so you can see a definite edge and we're going to blend it out so you get a really soft gradient. So usually when I'm doing skies or um, just backgrounds in general, I will use this technique. So I'll apply the color and you have this really sharp edge and blending or pulling is going to help create that really smooth gradient from dark to light. So in this instant, what I like to do is I will, you know, apply that darker color like that. And then I'm going to completely wash off my brush so there's no color. And then I'm just going to tap it on my paper towel to dry it a bit just so there's no water dripping, but it's still fairly wet. And I'm going to touch the edge that we want to blend out with the tip of the brush. This is still all wet. So you're going to see that watercolor is going to want to move down to where that clean water is, okay? Because I'm applying clean water about a centimeter thick from the tip of the brush to the back, the belly of the brush. So the tip of the brush is what's touching the color and then the water from the belly of the brush is applying that clean water so that the color is moving down seamlessly. Okay, so you're getting that really nice blended out edge. And this is great when you're adding shadows to things, like you don't want that really sharp edge. So this is kind of the blending or pulling technique that I'm talking about. So this is really great for backgrounds. And if you ever feel like you're pulling down too much color, like you add it and it's still pretty dark coming down, again, wash off your brush, dry it on your paper towel like that slightly, not too much where it's dry. And then just touch that edge and move it back and forth and you'll get a really nice gradient and you'll blend it out. Okay, so that's one way that I talk about blending. Another one was kind of brought to my attention when I taught my most recent Zoom workshop through my Patreon. We were making poinsettia petals and one of the uh, techniques that I did, so I'm just gonna paint this poinsettia petal. Okay, we did like this medium wash so it's not too dark like that of red. And then I was taking my red, a more saturated version, so I'm just swiping my brush in my paints a little bit more to get a really nice saturated dark, dark value of red. And I go around the sides and up the middle. Okay, so even though I'm applying wet paint onto wet paper, you're still getting a bit of a bleed. Um, it's not a harsh line but it's not completely blended out. So we wanna blend it so you're getting that dark to light gradient. Now, this can be tricky because I'm gonna show you, if you wash off your brush, dry it a bit, but you kinda of try and blend it out by moving it around like this, blending it together. If you scrub too hard, see how it's turning a bit more white and you're still getting that harsh edge? You're lifting up color and that's not what you wanna do. You wanna wash off your brush, dry it, and you want to do this really soft blend, okay? We are moving the pigment around, almost kind of like, like super, super soft pressure. Okay, just like the tip of my brush, and I'm just moving it. I'm not scrubbing it, because when we scrub it, that's when we're removing the pigment. We're lifting it up on our brush. When you're blending something out like this, you really want to use the lightest amount of pressure and just kind of these like circular moment, mo moments, motions. If you do it too hard, see how I'm lifting and you're getting those whiter areas? You don't want to do that. You want to just gently kind of graze it really, really gently. Okay. So again, I'm going to show you, I'm just going to wet this all up. I'm going to show you again what not to do. And if a blend doesn't work out and you want to try again, you can just do this. You wet your brush. Get the whole thing wet again. And then you grab your color again. And you can apply it like this, okay? So see how we kind of have that harsher edge? We wanna blend it out. Again, I'm gonna show you, do not dry your brush off like that and scrub to blend. It's just gonna, it's, you're still gonna be pushing that pigment towards the edge and lifting up the color in the middle. 
Okay, we don't want to scrub because that's lifting up the color. That's actually not too bad. <laughs> but what we want to do, actually, let's try it with a darker shade of red. So again, see I messed up. I'm going to grab a darker shade of red here. I'm going to, here, let's mix it with our regular red and our darker red. Okay, we're going around, down the middle, like this. Now, also, another thing is, if you feel like you've lost the highlight, because we started off with a lighter wash of red, and because I did it so many times, it's all kind of pretty vibrant, right? If you feel like you've lost all of that, just mop it up like this with your paper towel. Then, again, I'm just gonna do this again. Then you can just go over the whole thing with a light wash because we want to try and maintain that highlight. Okay, and we got to make sure it's all evenly wet. This is looking a little bit worn just because I've done it so many times. Grab our vibrant red. Like this. And again, it's a pretty harsh, right? It's a harsh line. You don't want it to be, so I'm just washing and drying off my brush. And I'm just kind of, just gently with the tip of my brush, just bringing that pigment towards the highlight, but not completely. If you're bringing too much pigment towards the highlighted area, wipe your brush off on your paper towel. <laughs> towel, just really gently blend it out, okay? You're just touching those areas with the tip of your brush in the lightest pressure little circles. Again, just feel free to take the pigment off and blend it out. Okay, so this works for leaves as well. This doesn't look that great just because we did it so many times. I feel like you can overwork a piece of paper where it just doesn't look as great as it did at one point. Let's do a leaf just for fun. Actually, I wanted a lighter wash of this leaf. That's okay. It's okay. Okay, I have my olive green here. Then I'm going to take my darker green. Also, when you're going back in to add a darker shadow to blend out, make sure there's not a lot of water on your brush that's going to drip. Because when that happens, I'm just going to show you. Okay, you have a lot of water. Say there's like a drip and you go to add your darker color. See how you get that big pool and it's going to start taking it over? You don't want that. It's going to be hard to blend it out. Then you're also going to have your leaf drying at a different rate. This is going to be wetter. This is going to be drier. And then it's going to cause that separation. So if that ever happens, which it happens to me at times as well, mop it up, wet your brush, get your original color, and just go over the whole thing again. You want it the same amount of wetness. I know this like water control and stuff can be really tricky, but you got this. It just takes a lot of practice. Okay. And even some of these mistakes I still make. Okay. So I'm going back in. I know I don't have a lot of water on my brush already. My paint's already wet. So I know I don't have too much water. You can even just test it on your well or even your paper towel and then go around the edge, up the middle around the other side okay so see how that's pretty that's not blended right you see the olive green and then the dark green it's wet on wet but it's still not blended washing off my brush completely drying it on my paper towel then just gently making sure there's no water extra water on my brush just gently making little circles like so so gently blending it out I'm almost pushing that darker pigment into the center. Just so gently though. If you feel like you need a little bit more pigment, you could do that too. And that's how I blend it out. Okay, so it looks a bit more fuzzy and out of focus. And those are my tips for blending today.
Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on all my other platforms for tons more content. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.